we all know that part of the Liberals' plan for climate change to tackle it is, is the clean fuel standard. Um, in the Gazette edition for December 19th of last year, in the household and gender-based analysis impact study that was done, it says, and I'm quoting from the Gazette here, that it is expected that increases in transportation, fuel, and home heating expenses would disproportionately impact lower and middle-income households. It also goes on to say that single mothers are more likely to live in lower income households and may be more vulnerable to energy poverty and adverse impacts from increases to transportation and home heating prices. So I'm just wondering to the member, through you Madam Chair, uh, is she explaining to single mothers in her right that they're going to drive the costs of, for them up by introducing measures like the clean fuel standard but also the carbon tax that goes up to $170 a tonne by 2030 as she indicated. The Honourable Member for Davenport. Uh, much, Madam Speaker, and I want to thank the honourable member for his question. I think it's an important one. I think people, the cost of living is top of mind for all Canadians right now. Um, so I'll, I'll mention three things. One is the fact that uh, President Biden has uh, has talked to our Prime Minister and has made clean fuel standard a priority. I think it's it's something that uh, both of our countries are going to be working uh, very hard on, and I think that that bodes well for us uh, making things affordable. Uh, in terms of transportation moving forward. So that's one. Two, I've already mentioned the historic amount of investment in public transit that we are making and continue to make. Uh, and I think that that will continue to make it affordable for um, for income levels right across this country. And the last thing I'll, I'll mention to you is we are uh, increasing our climate change incentive um, uh, over the years. And I think that that will also be supporting our families um, it, as we are pushing very aggressively to meet our, uh, our emissions targets.